How does it feel to finally win an award on camera? <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, well, it's, uh, to be honest with you, I actually, just before they announced uh, the winner tonight, I turned to Trace and said, we're screwed. Uh, because they've got us seated in an area that there is no way in hell we could have got out of unless we were two foot Fred. And so they said our names, and then there was a 15 minute delay from where we were sitting on the stage, first of all, because it takes 10 minutes for Trace to stand up out of the seat and then get around the people. They only had uh, Toby Keith there, whose knees went out there a quarter mile. Finally got down to the stage. Time was counting down. I named uh, Trace Atkins as the ultimate badass in country music, which he is. Just talk to him for a minute. He'll tell you himself. <laughs> <laughs> you got something you want to say? She asked you. Oh, I think the uh, obvious question is coming up here is can we expect more from you two together? Uh, I got a new album coming out August 24. <laughs> He's not on it. <laughs> he only makes half albums. <laughs> so he's got another one coming out pretty soon. Right. And I'm not on it either. So I don't know. Maybe we will. Uh, seems to work pretty good. Trace. Yes, ma'am. Trace, do you have experience in the reality TV world? Would either of you do Dancing with the Stars and why or why not? I would not do that. I'm not. I wouldn't do it. Why not? I don't know. It's just, it just seems just, there's only so much humiliation that I'll, <laughs> that I will uh, bear. I, I just wouldn't do it. Uh, it's recording a song for me. About, that's about as humiliating as I'll go. That's about as far as I'll go. So, no, I wouldn't do that. I think somebody is missing a grand opportunity, though, to have a reality show following this guy around with a camera. Somebody ought to do that. Uh, yeah. Seriously. Blake, over here. Hi. Uh, I had a chance to talk to Miranda just about what an incredible year she's having. I remember backstage at the ACM Awards, Trace Atkins told you that it was pretty much downhill after winning your first award that you had ever been nominated for. Now you're two for two. Uh, so can you just talk about the year, the fact that you're, you're now engaged, that your career is going so well, and, and you're two for two? Yeah, Trace is always good for words of inspiration uh, like that. Uh, but uh, it had, I mean, I would definitely say 2010 has been the biggest year of uh, not just my career, but my personal life. And uh, I don't know, man, I'm having a ball with it. it, it uh, it's pivotal, I think. And uh, I've been lucky enough to have been doing this for what I feel like is a long time already. Uh, it's been 10 years since I've had my. My first hit record uh, took that long to get one of these freaking things. Uh, had to call in uh, the big guns to get one, but uh, I'll take what I can get. Like your, your new single is It's All About Tonight, and the song's really fun, and I can hear that you probably had a lot of fun in the studio. I'm sure the two of y'all had a lot of fun in the studio. Does that make a big impact in, in your songs, and what are you like in the studio? Uh, well, it's... it's Ironic because uh, we've made, uh, Trace and I have made records, we've both made records with uh, Scott Hendricks now. And, uh, you know, depending on the combination of people that you have in the studio, it really does set the mood. It only takes, you know, one musician or one engineer or one person to kind of screw the thing up. I mean, it really does. Uh, no different than being out on the road on a tour bus, you know, but. Uh, these days, uh, recording with Scott, and uh, especially when we get in there to do the vocals, uh, it's just he and I were the only people in the studios, and we end up talking about, you know, how hot the girls are on Fox News and stuff like that. Next thing you know, we've been singing for you know, six or seven hours, we've made a record. I don't know if you and, if you and Scott, when y'all made your records, uh, y'all were talking about how hot the girls are on the Weather Channel or Fox News. Hey, 